Have you ever looked for the perfect dubbing that could bulk up, but wasn't inherently bulky, while also having the ability to be a slim enough to put on a soft hackle? And on top of that, has tiny little rubber legs in it that just adds so much life to every fly it's in. Well, your search for that dubbing is over. In this product spotlight video, we're covering Hairline's Wiggle Dub. Which is mostly empty, but yeah. <laughs> Wiggledub is not a new product by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't see a lot of people tying with it. And I think that's crazy. This is hands down one of my favorite dubbings ever. Dubbings? This is hands down one of my favorite dubbing ever. That doesn't make any sense either. It has the ability to build while not getting bulky. It makes the coolest easy stone fly that I've ever tied. I mean, I came up with this stonefly, so I'm I'm kind of proud of it. We'll tie it in a little bit. But you can size it down to anything you want to. And we're gonna put it in a soft tackle in this video as well. This stuff is absolutely fantastic, and I don't see many people tying with it. Actually, when I was doing research for this video, I, I just kind of jumped online to see what I could find, and I found one of my videos from a long time ago. I hosted Feathercraft's fly tying contest, and um, it was kind of the OG fly tying contest that the winner got their fly picked up by a major manufacturer and they made royalties on it. You probably hopefully just saw Gallup do this with Montana Fly Company. But during this fly tying contest, I made videos of t different fly tying materials and stuff like this, and this was one of the materials that I, <laughs> that I covered. Such a cool, cool, cool idea. It, it is one of those ideas that every product designer in the world is going, oh, why didn't I think of that? That's a young, skinny Brian right there. <laughs> so the base of Wiggle Dub is, is rabbit dubbing, but it has these super, super tiny, like really tiny rubber legs. So you have your regular rabbit dubbing with little tiny tiny rubber legs this is this is fantastic stuff i i say that way too much i just dig fly tying <laughs> so this color is the bloody black it's black dubbing with little red rubber tail rubber legs rubber tails <laughs> and this color is the peacock with little black rubber legs there are roughly 10 different colors give or take some one of my favorites being the rust and then rusty orange with little black rubber legs in it. Sun just got really bright outside. Better. This is this is Poindexter. I, I named him Poindexter. Had a little too much sun on him. Also check out the new spot for Biggie and Tupac. That's what I do. One of these days I'm gonna do a tour of this wall and just kind of show you everything on it. I love it so much. Anyway. So there's somewhere around 10 different colors of Wiggle Dub. Uh, my main kind of being the bloody red, the peacock, the rust. To be honest with you, I, all of them. I, I, I tie with all of them. <laughs> but as soon as I saw this stuff, I knew I was gonna design a stone fly around this material. I knew it had everything I was looking for in a single dubbing to make a quick, easy, dirty stone fly. So we're gonna jump over and tie that stone fly right now. My, I know my shirt's changed. You'll see why in a little bit. I've got a number six standard nymph hook, 2XL, 2X strong in the vise. Before we put the bead on, before we do anything, we have to do one step first. We're gonna tie in two fly enhancer legs as antenna. And whip finish. I have a gold bead on here. I'm gonna trim these antenna just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. 
Now I'm going to add some 0.025 lead wire. This is a stonefly. We want it to get deep. Now we're going to add the other end of our fly enhancer legs out the back for a tail. Next, we're going to cut a strip of UV chewy skin that's maybe, I don't know, quarter inch wide, something like that. We're going to tie this in upside down. Next, we're going to tie in a piece of monofilament that we're going to use to rib the body. Now make a large dubbing loop. Since we're gonna have so much material in this dubbing loop that's kind of slick, I'm gonna go ahead and use some low tax swax on the thread of the dubbing loop. Just makes it so much easier. Now I've got the peacock colored wiggle dub and we're gonna load this dubbing loop. Don't be stingy with this stuff. We want a full dubbing loop. and spin the loop out. Brush it out a little bit. So you end up with something like this. And we're just gonna wrap this forward all the way up the shank. And we're gonna trim this fly to shape. Stoneflies are a lot smaller than this, this abdomen back here. So we're just gonna cut this pretty short, but be careful not to cut your rib or the backing. Now we're gonna pull our chewy skin forward and tie it off right behind the bead. And now we're gonna rib this with the monofilament. Then trim some of these fibers just a little bit. And you have a super cool, super easy wiggle stone. So as you can tell, you can bulk this stuff up to make a bulkier pattern and it, it trims out really well. It, it just has so many things that we look for in what I consider just a, a good all around fantastic dubbing. But on the other side of this coin is, can it slim down and make something small and add to a pattern that, you know, already does so many things so well? And that answer is abso freaking <laughs> One of my favorite flies of all time is a soft tackle. I love soft tackles. I love tying them. I love fishing them. But we're going to tie a soft tackle right now that uses wiggle dub to add a little bit more to a soft tackle because there's really not a lot going on with the soft tackle because there doesn't have to be. If we have the ability to add tiny little rubber legs in the collar of a soft tackle, I'm, I'm going to do that every time. I don't know about every time. I'm going to do that. So for the soft tackle, I've got a Mustad heavy nymph hook in the vise. This is a size 12. For the underbody, I'm going to use three or four strands of orange flashaboo. To make sure the flash boom never goes anywhere, I'm going to use a super light coating of Loon Thin. For the dubbing, I've got the rust colored wiggle dub. We're going to create a dubbing loop. Very small one. Just yay big. So something like that. I've got it on the wrong shirt. <laughs> I wore the wrong 
wrong shirt for this video. Wait, just, I do this so much. Better. Now I've got a partridge feather. Now at this point you can trim any super long rubber tape, rubber legs that are hanging out. But look at how good these little rubber legs work in a soft tackle. Oh, it's so cool. So as always, I have links to Wiggle Dub in the description of this video. I absolutely love this material. I really, really think that more people should be tying with it. Um, and like I said, it's not a new material. I think the video I showed you was like 10 years ago. Yeah, if you tie stoneflies, if you tie craw patterns, and adding rubber legs to anything, yeah. So that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let's give away the stuff from the previous Spotlight video. All the comments on these videos, you guys are loving them, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Just thank you. But the random comment generator picked Derek Foland. Derek, shoot me an email or shoot me a message on Instagram, and I'll send you a care package for your chance to win the flies in this video. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have the random number generator pick a random number, turn it into a comment, and send you something.